The fields are empty, the playgrounds deserted, and all across the United States, school buildings sit empty. More than half of the country's students have been sent home, leaving parents to try and become teachers instantly. That's especially difficult for parents of children with special needs. Everyone is trying to figure this out, and the real key is to be listening to special needs families and parents and kids to understand what their needs are so we can adjust to this new reality. Ken Shoemate should be in a better position than most. He used to be a teacher, but given his son has special needs, he says it's been a struggle. I was trained as a mathematics major, um, but it didn't teach me how to help somebody who's having trouble reading, you know, and I took it for granted. Uh, students trying to learn how to read word problems, if they having difficulties reading, then it's going to be hard for them to be able to solve those questions. We're set up today. Studies have shown children from lower income families struggle to retain knowledge over the summer because in many cases their parents are not able to help them study, and experts fear this long delay will hurt them disproportionately. We've always had challenges with inequality in our education system and this new shift has really exacerbated that in an enormous way. We're seeing some kids being sent home with homework, with instruction, with devices, and some kids being sent home with nothing. And so we really need to take that seriously and invest in those kids and families right now. In Fairfax County, Virginia, Superintendent Scott Braban says they are providing Wi-Fi to students without internet and computers to students who don't have one. But he acknowledges even with all of that, some kids will fall behind. Any kids that we find who struggle uh, and don't get uh, the learning as well as they need to um, over the next couple of months, we're going to be looking at how we can provide additional supports either in the summer or into the next school year to help them. But he's in charge of a very wealthy school district. All across the country, millions of students won't have access to the technology they need to keep on track, meaning they will fall behind. Another hidden cost of the corona pandemic. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera.